Good morning, this is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. They look at the upcoming forecast across West Central Texas. This briefing is being updated early Tuesday morning. Well, if you are waking up across West Central Texas this morning and are smelling some smoke, it's not from anything close by. Actually, it's from the grass fires and wildfires that are still raging across portions of the Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma early this morning. That uh, smoke got uh, caught up as a uh, cold front pushed through the area, and, and um, those north winds have pushed that smoke directly into uh, west central Texas as of sunrise this morning. So we think things should improve um, smoke-wise at least through uh, the rest of the morning hours. But uh, yeah, uh, this morning it has um, got some, uh, some strong, uh, strong smell of smoke across much of the area. Now that uh, cold front pushing across the area is bringing some uh, cooler conditions for this afternoon as well. After highs in the 80s uh, over uh, much of the last few days, we're going to be looking at uh, high temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s for uh, most of West Central Texas for the afternoon. We may see a few showers and thunderstorms, um, say, before mid-morning or so, down from uh, Brady and San Saba down toward Mason and Junction. Those are going to be short-lived and pushing quickly east and out of the other uh, out of the area. Otherwise, mostly sunny for the afternoon with some northeast winds at uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour. That cold front's also bringing some cooler conditions for tonight as well. Once the winds kind of die off and we're looking at uh, clear skies and light winds for tonight, it's going to be uh, much colder than what we've seen at least the last few mornings. Low temperatures dropping into the uh, low to mid 40s for most sections. Although uh, uh, some of our uh, cold air spots that normally drop a few extra degrees may see some uh, overnight low temperatures dropping into the upper 30s. And just as a uh, kind of a reminder, this is Severe Weather Awareness Week across, uh, across the state of Texas. And uh, we'll kind of have to remind you again uh, that uh, uh, the difference between a, uh, a watch and a warning. Again, with a watch, uh, it's sort of, sort of a um, be prepared type of forecast. Uh, severe weather conditions or tornadoes are possible, but not occurring at that moment. Uh, one of the signs you might want to sort of keep an eye on the uh, keep an eye on the weather conditions for later in the afternoon or later in the day, and be prepared should uh, an actual storm or actual uh, tornado develop. Tornado warning or severe thunderstorm warning means that uh, again a tornado or severe thunderstorms are occurring at that moment. Um, a tornado may be imminent. You want to take shelter immediately and uh, check for uh, updates as you um, as you stay in your uh, shelter, and we'll let you know when it's, when it's safe to come on out. Again, that's the difference between a, a watch and a warning. Thank you, and I will continue to keep you updated.